All right, let's continue building the Rick and Morty app. Particularly in this video, we're gonna focus on tapping on search results that we get back for both characters and episodes. It's something we already did for locations, but we didn't do it for characters and episodes, so we'll take care of that in this video. Before we jump into things, hit that like button down below, comment your most recent emoji, so you'll let me know you're still with me in the comments down below, and let's continue. So I've got Xcode open here, and essentially what we want to do is when we get some collection view results here, we presumably are showing the search results view, and we wanna handle the did select item function for the collection view. So what I'm gonna do in Xcode is search for rm search result view dot swift, and we should have a, some, a function along the lines of collection view, uh, did select right here and it looks like I actually added a to do for myself way back whenever we wrote this because I knew I would inevitably forget. So let's actually handle this. Let's figure out how we want to handle this. Well, we can do one of two things. We can switch uh, on the type of result here and then use the delegate to uh, levy the selection back to our whatever object will push the controller or we can have a generic delegate function and pass back the type. Let's see what I did for locations up here because we already do have this function for the search results view delegate. And it looks like what we did is we used the index of the selection. So let's see why we did that. Um, the reason we probably did that, well, let's see, let's copy and paste this and let's see where I actually implement that function because it's a lot uh, it's a lot easier to keep track of this stuff when you actually look at it so let's see where this is implemented so here what we're doing is we're saying view model location search result at index we're basically asking the view model hey give me the result at this position so what I can probably do is copy and paste this function and say uh, did tap location, we'll change both of these to did tap character and did tap episode. All right, cool. So we have two functions there now. And what we can do is we can essentially call one of these functions based on uh, whether we have a, a location, or rather a character result set or a episode result set. And we do have a view model here. So in fact, what we can do is we can switch on this to get the appropriate type. So let me look for that to do statement that I put in here, and I'm just gonna copy and paste that code. Now we should only come in here for episodes and locations. If we have, uh, or episodes of characters, uh, if we have locations, we'll simply break. And in this case, what we can do is get rid of this associated value, and we just want to call the delegate. So I want to say delegate did uh, rm search results view did select in this case character with location. So we'll say self for the view, and this will be index path dot row. And similarly, we'll copy and paste that right down below. The only key difference being we're just going to say did tap episode. Now we do want to implement these two functions that we have added as well. So let's jump back to our RM search view. Keep in mind that that view is our kind of master view that wraps these like search results and also these like uh, button selection thingies, whatever we decided to call them. But let's actually bring these in. I'm also going to add a comment here for marking this just to visually separate the code. And hopefully this autocomplete decides to cooperate. Awesome. There we go. And one thing that just dawned on me is we actually already have the thing that we're selecting. What we have is the view model. So in this case, um, we got rid of the associated value here, but we actually do have the character view models here. So let me see uh, what we would want to do. So once we select on one of these, what we actually want to push uh, is a what we actually want to push is a character detail screen. So let's open up the RM character detail view controller and let's see what the initializer takes in. So the initializer looks like it takes in a detail view model. 
And the way that we create a detailed view model is by passing in a character. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because what we have there is a view model. So let's swipe back and let's get rid of this associated value again. And let's handle the character. So let's come into here. And similar to the location case, we are going to want to ask our search view model, hey, give me a character. We're gonna say, give me a character model for this position. So this is location search results. I'm gonna call this character search results at index path. Here we're saying RM search view did select location. We're gonna to wanna to make this character as well. Now this function does not exist, so we'll need to create it up above. Bear with me in all my copy and pasting. We'll swipe up here, and here we have that location variant of the uh, function. We will create it for a character, character, and the model type will be a character. So, okay, so that part looks good. Let's come into our location search result at function, and we're gonna see how it's implemented so we can do the exact same thing for characters. So here we will copy and paste it and simply say in this permutation of the function, we want character search result at an index path. Here we're saying search model is search result model as, and let me see what search result model is. I guess we're hanging on to whatever we get back is codable, okay, that makes sense. In this case, we want to try to cast it as a character response. Let me make sure that's a valid thing. RM get all character response. Okay, that makes sense. And here what we can return is our search results result at index path. So let's see what this is yelling at me. Yep, this is supposed to be a RM character, not a location, so that error should go away. And over here, if I try to build, we should have one error. And the reason we have that error is because we have added this new function for this delegate, did select character, but we have not implemented it. So let's implement it. And it dawns on me that I'm jumping around a little bit, uh, but bear with me, hopefully this will make sense. So we'll bring in that autocomplete and we just want to basically push the character detail view controller. So here we can actually say create a character detail view controller. It's going to ask me to pass in a view model and this view model gets created with a character just like that because we've basically fished this out of our nested views via a bunch of delegate and view model operations. So let me give this a run and let's make sure we can actually tap on a search result character and see the details for it. So I'm gonna search for Morty here, and we get a bunch of results, and let's tap on Alien Morty, and it should open up uh, the Alien Morty detail controller. Hmm, but it looks like it is not doing that, so let's see what gives. We're gonna debug this uh, live and in action together. So what I'll do here is I suspect it's going into this return where it's trying to get the character model. I'll tap the line number to get a breakpoint, and then I will click on this. And we should hit that breakpoint, but it looks like we are not. So let's see what else gives. Let's go further back. And let's put a breakpoint in here to make sure we're actually calling our collection view function. I'll put a few in here to make sure we're actually going all the way down. I'll tap on it and we do come to here, which is cool. I'll hit this little play button in the console, make sure it continues down and then it continues down further. Okay, so it definitely continues down and we definitely call that character function as well. So we're saying RM search results view did tap character at. So what I'll do is let's try that again. Let's validate that this delegate property is not nil at this point because that wouldn't be good. So I am going to say PO delegate. So let's make sure it actually has a memory address. Sometimes it's a little slow. It looks like it does. It's actually already set to the RM search view. So that is indeed correct. So that means that something is not propagating up. So let's go to our RM search view. Let's see if I can find it. There we are. And let me toss this inside of here. 
And ah, I see what the mistake is. We actually put this implementation for characters inside of our episodes. Okay, so there's a good lesson in being careful with your copy and pasting and similar naming. So let's try this again, build and run. We're gonna go into search. We're gonna search for, ah, not character. We're gonna search for Morty. And we wanna tap on Alien Morty and boom, we've got Alien Morty details opening up, awesome. Let's get this wired up for episode and then we'll test that out and wrap up this part in our series. So this is going to be extremely similar. What we can do is basically, actually before I do that, let me see what uh, the episode controller wants to be created. So we'll say RM episode detail view controller. This gets created, it looks like, with a URL for the episode. Okay, so that's interesting. So let's come back to our results here and let me see what the models, or the view models on this looks like. So we'll say view models, zero, and does this have a URL property? Hmm, it looks like view model zero is Let's see what the type of view models here is. So the type of view models in this case is RM character episode collection view cell view model. It's a mouthful. So let's open that up. RM character uh, episode collection view cell view model. Does this have a URL on it? Episode URL. It looks like it does, but it's private. So instead of uh, making this public here is we'll just copy the same consistent pattern that we've been doing for the other uh, types of results. And we'll just continue with that semantic to make sure everything is nice and consistent. So that means going back to, let me close up all of these. That means going back to our RM search view and we're gonna copy and paste this. And what we'll do here is we will say episode URL equals view model dot episode search results URL at index path. Let me make that capitalized. And uh, what we will do is we will jump into, and actually let me just return the entire episode here. It's probably simpler. We'll jump into our view model here and implement that function. So what we're gonna do is copy and paste this guy. And we'll say episode and this will be search model, and we're gonna try to cast it as a get all episodes response, and finally we can just return the result at that index, make sure you update the types, this is a RM episode. And once we have got a episode out, what we can do is we can pass it up, we can pass it up to our uh, other delegates. So let's change the names here, episode model like that. In this case, we are going to select a episode. Let's spell it correctly, otherwise it won't be happy. Alrighty, is it yelling at me because it doesn't exist? Yes, it does not, so let's create it. So we're gonna say search result view, selected a epi episode. Gotta make sure we spell these correctly. It's a little tedious as I talk through this, even for myself, but bear with me. Um, this stuff all takes a little bit of time for craftsmanship, but it is all worth it in the end. So let's uh, let's see if this looks good. So episode model, no errors here, awesome. Let's jump to the implementation of these functions. We need to add one more for our uh, actual episode that we added. So we'll say rm search view, beautiful. There is our implementation, or stubbing I should say, of the episode variant. And finally, we wanna create the episode detail controller. So I'll say episode RM episode detail view controller, we'll create it. And just like that, it takes in a uh, URL and this URL will be off the episode. We should have a URL and I believe it takes it in as a optional URL rather than a string. So what we wanna do is we wanna actually instantiate a URL and pass in that string and we shouldn't have any errors. Let's give it a final build and run and make sure we can tap into episodes as well. So here we've got episodes. Let's find a new episode. Let's, uh, so here we have the word Rick in this episode name. So let's see, let's do Rick. 
and see how many we get. We just get one, big surprise. Uh, it looks like the cell is kind of cut off at the top and it's kind of bothering me, so maybe we'll fix it. So cool, we can click into it and we get the detail for that episode. Uh, let's see why it looks like that, because it's kind of ugly. So it's going to be an RM search results uh, view.swift. And what we are looking for is our layout here. We're using a compositional layout, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see if current view model is character. Uh, we're actually using a flow layout. So what we actually want to do is specify some insets. So I think I already did that somewhere here. So we specified section insets and we said the top inset is actually set to zero. Let's make it 20. So this is the section inset for our result. And let me make sure this still looks good for all of our cases. Cool, we've got some space at the top of there. Kind of looks a little big, but I guess it's better than being cut off. Let me make sure it looks good here. Okay, cool, so it looks much better. Maybe we'll actually even make a 10 to uh, curb my OCD. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for this video. So in the next part, um, what I wanna do is, and I believe that'll be the next actual like development part is we have a bug for the location spinner that doesn't go away. Let's make sure it actually still doesn't go away. All right, so in the case of normal locations, yeah, see, we still see the spinner at the bottom here. We gotta figure out what gives. Why is it still showing up? Because that is no bueno, and it should stop showing up after we don't have any more results. So we will do that in the next video. It might be brief, but make sure you hit that like button before clicking away to the next video, and thanks for watching. I will see you guys there.